Hey guys, we're going to go through a quick scenario here. I have the CTEC adapter, uh, the CCS1 adapter North America. And we're just going to step through how to update the firmware. Right now it only works on Windows. And how to see what version you have. So if you look at the adapter here, it's kind of hard to see in this light, but there's a little rubber gasket here. And you just kind of pry it up. And this is a micro USB port. And it's kind of tough because I don't have nails here. But once I lift this rubber up, you'll see the, that micro USB port. Now, I've tried using various micro USB cables of different types. There's that one. There's this one. And these cables are not working. Um, and so you might have to try a few different ones. But I got this one from the dollar store. And you can tell it works because when you plug it in, uh, Windows makes that, you know, device detected noise. And what does that sound like? Uh, so if I plug this in and I plug it into my USB slot. That noise. If you don't hear that noise, Windows has not detected the device. So now I'm going to load this EV program. I'm going to open the COM port. And you'll see here, if you do it fast enough, you know, within 10 seconds, then you're going to see, and you want to zoom in here on this text here, so people can see that. It shows you the version of the firmware that you're running. So there you can see I'm running firmware version 150. So if it doesn't come up after about 15, 20 seconds, then you can just unplug your uh, USB cord, turn off the adapter. So let's do this again. I'll unplug this. I'll turn off the adapter so it's off. So this is all like this, and I guess I'll close the app again, or I'll close the port. So I click close. I'll clear this all up. I will plug it in. Makes that noise. I'm going to click open. And you're going to see some initialization. And eventually it'll tell you which version of the firmware, and there it is. Firmware version 150. So that's one way to find out what version you're at. Now, how do you upgrade the firmware? Well, once you have this all plugged in, you just get the version of the firmware you want to run, double click it, and sometimes Windows will say, you know, problem, blah, blah, blah. It's not a virus, but for whatever reason, it doesn't know what this software is, so. Um, so here you go. There's the COM port, COM3. If you get an error where it says, you know, can't find a COM port, it's most likely the micro USB cable you're using, it's not working. You have to hear that noise from Windows and then you know it's detected it properly. So now I'll just click right and you can see here, takes about 20, 30 seconds. It'll write the new version of firmware to the adapter and you're good to go once it's finished. So let's just take a quick look. I'm gonna zoom in on that so we can see what that looks like. And don't worry about if it says COM3 or COM4, doesn't really matter. Um, it can, it'll assign a random number depending on what devices you have installed in your computer. The main thing is it finds one, finds the adapter, and uh, it successfully is able to write. And so there you can say status success, and we're finished, and good to go. So that's really the simple story. You download version 150 from CTEX, uh link to their firmware. If I go on the main page here, 